<laughs> it's kind of an echo in here. Here. It's got the cat house. No echo in here. I mean, it's kind of empty, so it has that empty feel. Here. Here. Still here. <laughs> Guys, JSX here back with another video. As you can tell, I am not alone. Yes, I do have friends. Well, not friends. This is my cousin, um, Terrence. Tell him a little bit about yourself. My name is Terrence. I am also an ISSA certified personal trainer. I've been personal training for about two years now, since 2016. I've trained fat loss, uh, muscle gain, athletes, uh, regular people. Um, I'm, a, I'm also into like. Uh, Huge into science. I'm going to school to become a doctor. I'm, I'm in my last year of college right now, so I decided I wanted to join Joe and uh, talk a little bit about full body versus uh, bro splits. If you don't know who I am, I am Josiah. I don't do any of those other things. <laughs> I do. I do trade some people from time to time. You know, uh, JosiahStewart.com. Got more First followers than me. Then that's about it. Yeah. Um. But um. We're not going to talk about that. But yeah, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be breaking down a question that I do get a lot, which is, which is better, full split, I mean, full body split or bro split, which is singling out each muscle every single day. Yeah, like buys, back and buys, chest and tries. Yeah, the better shoulder. way to do things. So basically, me personally, I've all, I think I've said this before, I've always been the type of person that I like to... Um, separate my muscle groups out and I've always felt like that's the best um, way to do it because I feel like you should ice or completely destroy your muscles before moving on to the next muscle rather than you know full body splits which is his preference for some reason yeah so I prefer full body I mean I didn't intro this but I also played college basketball uh, I played competitively high school basketball for a long time uh, so shot at me I, I've been <laughs> I've been an athlete, so I really train for athletics for the most part. So a lot of my training is, you know, for sport and for athletics. So doing bodybuilding type of exercises was never something that was super interesting to me. I was more of like build strength, build like explosiveness, functional movement. Joe does a lot of like explosive leg day type stuff. So that's kind of more on my alley, what I find enjoyable. Uh, so I like full body. Uh, when I first started, one of my friends introduced me to a full body split. Um, it's called Mad Cow. You could look it up. I actually did. Have you ever? You've tried it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did it for a solid. I think I did it for like four or five weeks. Yeah, I mean, you probably got, got some results, but it's pretty much just like a five by five split, like full body. You do squats every single day. You do bench every like once a week or twice a week, and then you do like back rows, deadlifts, and stuff like that. So it was mainly just to focus on building up strength and things like that. But I prefer full body. For me, I have a busy schedule a lot of the time so going to the gym three four times a week is at, at most is like ideal for me uh, so hitting every single muscle group is like perfect I get in get a good workout feel every I pumped everything up and then I take a break and then I come back like in a day or two or whatever but Joe likes to go six days a week and I, that's just <laughs> crazy for me like <laughs> oh, I mean well I guess we could start when I started so we're already four minutes and we're not trying to make this video super long no, no, no. but we will get the facts across yeah. to prove to you that actually bo both of them are um both of them will get you to where you want to get so there's pros and cons to both of them right True. me personally I go to gym at least five most of the time six days a week so I don't really have a problem with separating out each body part and really focusing on that body part um, while someone who might not have as much time might only be maybe like three or four days in, which I guess full body would be, well not I guess, full body would probably be more ideal for you because you can actually have the time to hit every single muscle. Yeah. Um, I think, I think, like you said, like a big dif difference between whether or not you do like a bro split or a full body could be like your time, uh, time you have to, to give to a workout. If you have like an hour most, you probably won't be able, I mean, you probably can get your bro split in an hour, get your buys and tries in it, and do arms or whatever workout in like an hour. But if you're just crunched for time, you can only go three times a week at certain times, like just do a full body because you'll you'll be able to work out your muscles, uh, get the same amount of volume in over your week as one person does in one day, which is another reason why I like full body is because you pretty much stimulate your muscles multiple times in a week. And 
as much as this like sucks for some people, there's been studies that prove that like this. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> there's, 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 there's statistical facts that prove that like in order for mus muscle synthesis and, and and just growth and hypertrophy, like full body and working out your muscle multiple times a week. Uh, working out a certain muscle multiple times a week is better for growth than like obliterating it just one day. I feel like um, like for bodybuilders, someone who wants to have like a nice aesthetic look, a nice little, um, just a nice physique. Yeah. I feel like full, I mean not full body. I didn't mean to curse I mean, like that. No, um, I feel, mean it. No, no, I feel like <laughs> bro splits, which first of all, before this video, I did not know it's called bro splits. I really didn't have a name for it. He just well, told no. me and I was like, so. Um, I feel like bro splits is better for someone who wants like a more of an aesthetic type of look versus if you want to be like a power builder and get like really really strong I think that um, full body will work better which is I guess why I never really got into it because I was never wanted to be a strong person I did not care how strong I was I yeah. just really yeah I mean I always did like I said I always did it for sport so like that's my motivation for working out uh, to get better get more ath athletic so it translates to like a sport uh, whatever Sport you play football, baseball, basketball, soccer. Uh, lifting for sport is different. Like you don't have to do the same. I mean, if you're just beginning in sports and stuff like that, and you want hypertrophy, obviously range of motion and stuff like that is important. But like, if you're just trying to work on increasing your vertical jump and you have a certain amount of muscle development already, you don't have to do like squats below parallel. You could go to parallel and still make the same gains. You could do a lot of strength lifting. You could do high box squats and still make you know vertical increase your vertical jump and stuff like that so there's a lot of things that you differ from like a full body to like uh, a bro split definitely for aesthetic purposes I would say bro split bro split, bro split just split. because just because like you're you can hitting fine muscle, tune. Yeah, you can fine, you can fine tune, tune. You're, hitting, you're hitting your muscles from different angles you're doing different things for me, like my main chest workouts are like I've never done a cable crossover in my life, and I'm proud to admit it. Uh, that is an amazing. I've workout. never done. I've never done a cable crossover. I've never done like dumbbell flies. I I, I feel always feel, felt like I put a, my shoulders in a vulnerable position. Like I usually just do incline dumbbell bench, flat dumbbell bench, barbell bench, and that's it. Like that's what I do for chest. Maybe some push ups. Like. That's it. Uh, See, I'm I'm completely. That would get so like one. That's enough. For I remember you. I asked my cousin because this is before I was certified. I asked them like for plans. I just wanted to switch it up. I guess I got tired of bro, bro splits or whatever you call them. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I asked him for a program, and I think he sent me like this thing where it was like I was benching, squatting, and deadlifting almost every day. I think it was like a four days, yeah, four day work or something like that. That was probably. I don't, I don't know, know if it was Matt. No, it's probably yeah. I think it was one that you had made. Yeah. I don't think it was a Matt Calvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I did it like I said. I think I think I might have done it for actually six weeks. But I just get bored. I can't do the same workouts all the time. That's why. If I mean, you guys, yeah, that, that's that's true. It's just I I it's first of all, my body will get used to it, and I don't like my body to get used to stuff. I really like to uh, surprise myself all the time. I mean, you can surprise yourself by doing different like heavier weights and stuff yeah, like that. So, I like other movements. So like yeah, a lot of my programs I make are focused on you have a strength aspect so let's say you're doing so you usually with full body you're doing like some type of leg exercises every single day so like the one I'm doing right now you have like heavy squats like a three by six or three by five um, on like a Monday let's say you do Wednesday you do like some heavy uh, lift like for hamstrings the back of your legs you'll do like a stiff leg deadlift or a deadlift for your like the back of your legs and then like you might do like a hypertrophy type lift, like a front squat or something light, uh, just to work, make sure you're getting in your legs and do compound movements every single day. Uh, I found like compound movements, I mean a lot of people have done studies and stuff and shown that like compound movements are better uh, if you're trying to build more muscle over, not more muscle per se, but if you're just trying to get the most workout for the little time possible. Doing a compound movement, doing a squat is like your best bet. Doing a deadlift is like your best bet versus like doing like a leg extension or like a donkey kickback or something like that. But yeah. I mean, that all goes back like what he was saying, compound movements um, help you get the most for your buck, mm -hmm. the most for the amount of time you put in. Um, I feel like that all goes back to timing because you know, if you have yeah. enough time, then you can do all these different movements to hit every single part of your body. But if you're like, if you need to be in the gym at, Six o'clock and be out by six forty-five. Compound movements is better because yeah. you can 
it'll hit most of the muscle by itself without you having to do all these accessory movements. So, I guess, you know, like I said, there's pros and cons of both of them, yeah. but... Another thing I also enjoy about full body is you're not super sore. Because you're not hitting... See, I, I like being sore. I don't like not being able to walk up the stairs after, like, I that's just when you a know workout. You, like, that's when you know you killed it. When you, when you wake up the next morning and you almost fall coming out your bed. But that just throws off everything, like... Let's but say you're trying you to work out that, you can't work out that muscle for an entire week, like, yeah, I could do a leg, I could do two leg exercises on Monday and be good by Wednesday to, like, do, hit another too hard. If I do chest on Monday and just do strictly chest, I, it takes me up. The reason why they don't train it multiple times a week, most of the time, is because you're sore for the entire week. Until yeah, I train, the next, okay, I trained next, chest two days ago. My chest, I still feel it in my chest right now. But by tomorrow I'll be fine. I could train it again every three days, which I think is enough time. Three days. I mean, to I, restart your cycle of um, bro splits. Uh, me personally, I like the, just the feeling of. I don't like being sore. I just like the uh, your satisfaction. Bro splits, yeah, the yeah. satisfaction. That's a. I guess that's a difference. Like you have to kind of like check that ego and be like, all right, I'm progressing in weight. I'm getting stronger. I'm focusing on my strength. Uh, if you're doing for athletics or uh, or I'm seeing it translate onto the court, like I can body this person easily in football or like whatever, I'm stronger, I have, you know, stronger core, stronger foundation, agility, more agility, higher, exactly. Like so like, that's that's really where the reward was for me. Um, but I also like to feel like I did something. So I do a lot of like power building type stuff. I never do like a strictly strength program. I definitely like to still feel like I'm getting a, a pump per se, but I don't like to, you know, obliterate my muscles just because I don't like being super sore and I don't like doing like curls and things like that. So I just like to do heavy presses, shoulder presses uh, to work my triceps, uh, close grip push ups or something like that to get triceps. Sometimes, you know, I'll do tricep extensions and stuff like that because you just have to, to target it. But I hate doing curls. I just, I'd rather do heavy rows. I'd rather do uh, anything. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> anything, <laughs> curls. honestly, anything. I despise it. I put it in my programs, but I put it at the ends, and I always skip it. <laughs> yeah, we skip all of my friends. I'm running out of time. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, I really got class. Uh, uh, do I really need to hit biceps? Nah, nah, nah. I, I, hit, I hit rows. I mean, it's the same thing. It's, it's, the, same, it's the same muscle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah to some things, it's oh, personal right. preference, honestly. It really is, and it depends on your goals. Like, what we said in the beginning of the video, you can get where you want to get both ways yeah. but one might be easier for a power builder one might be easier for a bodybuilder yeah. right so i feel like me personally i feel like if you want to be a bodybuilder or you just want to look good have a nice aesthetic look you can um target specific areas of your body a lot better with a uh, bro split yeah. versus if you just want to be overall strong overall just have an overall type of no like no detail like yeah. no detailing or stuff like why did i just type like a for the keyboard <laughs> Yeah, I think I think uh, also I think also I always re recommend like full body to beginners just because if you focus on getting your strength up, it will help you build more muscle in the long run. So like a lot of people like to do like the bro splits and get the pump and, the, and everything in the beginning, and then they max out a bench at like 135. Versus somebody that started on a bro uh, a full body that was working on progressing their weight, they could now do 185 for 10. And now they could potentially switch over. All right, let me switch over to a bro split. Now I could bench 185 for 10. That's gonna build, help you build more muscle than you doing 135 for 10 or 135 for 20. I mean, 135 for 20 is not gonna help you build muscle. It's gonna, you know, give you a pump. But after you get past a certain amount of reps, like you're just pretty much just pumping blood into that muscle. You're not really tearing it. You're not really, you know, trying to grow too much strength. Uh, so, I mean, it's I what can, you I, like. I, I, it's I, what I, you like. It's, it's what you like. Yeah. But you know, to sum it up. It's really a preference, do what you want to do. You will not um, miss out on gains if you do either one. And what yeah. he said before about Slow beginners yeah. doing Slow full body, it's that could be true, because like when I first started, I didn't purposely do full, full body, I just like to work out a lot, so I yeah. really do every single muscle I could, um, like when I first started working out. But, um, so I don't really know if that's helped, it might have, I don't know, that might have been the secret to my... I mean, you could be bigger if you just focus on your strength and instead of you know d dumbbell benching 100 for like three reps you could actually do like first 10. of all it was 110 on oh, incline like, oh, okay. for three reps but um, i think we're rambling enough now we do got another video to shoot true so right this is our take on you know full body versus bro split a lot of people have different opinions on it let us know your opinions down in the 
comments below. Let us know why you might like Bro Split or why you might like um, the other trash. Full body. Um, the better off. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Comment and lurking. Go follow him on Instagram. It'll be in the description. Just yeah, like, please a, remember to put it on there. It's, a per it's my personal Instagram. I don't do any type of like uh, fitness stuff on it. I'm going to put my thing on pr public for a little so people can follow me. If you have any questions, I've been... Like I said, I've been doing this for a little bit, so I'm pretty informed. A lot of my stuff is kind of pretty science-based and stuff that I've experienced over my time of personal training, what I find is best uh, from my experience. So if you have any questions or anything like that and you want like a different perspective, you could feel free to, to send me a DM or something like that. Instagram will be right yeah. there and also in the description. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn post notifications because we got bangers coming out all season. Y'all already know this. I say this every time. Y'all hear this every time. You know it every time. That's about it. That's um, it. We got another video. Adios, amigos. Fire when the strong pits you. That's it, friend.